Hello everybody, and this time I'll be showing you some new stuff I just committed. Um, the first thing is that we can finally add some particles to objects that didn't have them before. Um, the way it happens is that uh, we can add particle slots actually to the object. Uh, they get added to these lists, and uh, below the list we see the particle settings that are added uh, or that are in the particle system. So we can change the settings and do whatever we like. Okay, the second thing is the new cache stuff. So by default the cache just uh, stores whatever happens. So if we change some settings, then all particles are calculated with the new settings from that frame onwards and cached. Now the first thing you'll see is that uh, when I changed the setting, the cache was marked outdated. And this means that uh, things might be not uh, totally exact what you see on the screen. Um, uh, but that can be fixed either by clicking the calculate to current frame button which calculates the exact simulation from frame 1 to the current frame or I, we can also just simply go to frame 1 and drag the timeline from there but now we'll see that uh, since we drag the timeline uh, the cache info says that it's not exact since frame 1. Now what this means is that we skipped some frames when we dragged so we can't be sure that things are really exact. But it doesn't matter, we can still simulate and just play with the particles. Mm. Another thing is that uh, now not all frames are cached and for that we use the cache step value which uh, tells us how many steps there are between the cached frames and this can save quite a lot of memory for example the current simulation to frame uh, 83 would have uh, taken around 4 megabytes but now it only takes uh, uh, around 400 kilobytes. And you don't have to really worry about the simulation being uh, exact or outdated or whatever because at uh, render time the particles are calculated exactly always. Then we have the option of uh, quick caching, which uh, recalculates the simulation on every change. It's nice for seeing how different uh, settings affect particles, uh, and the why it's so quick is because it uses the cache step as the time step uh, in when it's running the simulation. So it might not be terribly exact but it gives a nice feeling for what things do. Then we have the uh, uh, general buttons to, for example, bake all dynamic systems at once, or free all bakes, or update all dynamics to the current frame. And these do the same things as the uh, buttons for the single systems. Then one little bit older feature, if you missed it, uh, we can now set a parent object to particles. For example, let's put to camera, which just offsets the particle simulation. It doesn't affect the actual simulation in any way, but just how the particles are viewed. So we can, for example, rotate the simulation or scale it down or whatever we want. 
Um, and oh yeah, one final thing. Now also the clot simulation uses the new cache stuff. So we can just play with the cache or the simulation like we did with particles. And then we can set some gravity upwards, for example, and the simulations just run forwards and not cleared. And we have the quick cache also, etc. Okay, that's about it. Um, I hope to get some comments on what you think. And please go and test these things there uh, in Blem 2.5 uh, source right now. And thanks for watching.